In the midst of the standoff with China at the line of actual control in eastern Ladakh, the defense ministry has granted yet another extension of the emergency powers, that is, the emergency powers for revenue procurements, till 31 August 2021. Last month the emergency powers of the defense services, for capital acquisitions, were also extended, until 31 August 2021. The emergency powers were accorded, to the Indian Army, Navy and Air Force. Capital procurement powers cover the acquisition of capital assets, weapons, weapon systems, and other operationally vital equipment that contributes to a permanent improvement in the operational capabilities of the defense forces. Revenue procurement powers relate to the procurement of critical spares and ammunition required to sustain or maintain these assets. Last year, after the Galwan Valley conflict, for the first time, the Defense Ministry granted the Armed Services emergency capital procurement capabilities, allowing them to acquire weapon systems worth up to 300 crore rupees on a short-term basis, bypassing the lengthy and time-consuming procurement process. Prior to that, emergency powers was handed to the services in the February 2019 during Balakot airstrike and the 2016 Wuri surgical strike, which covered solely revenue procurements. According to the sources, apart from some major capital purchases, a number of spares and other smaller items will be purchased under the emergency revenue procurement powers. Some of these emergency revenue procurement powers will also be helpful in building large-scale infrastructure, such as roads and bridges, in eastern Ladakh. Anti-drone devices being bought by the Army, which can jam or spoof a rogue drone's communication and navigation signals, these are among the key capital procurements undertaken by the Defense Ministry. Defense sources also said that the IAF is planning to buy another lot of hammer air-to-ground precision guided weapon system for its Rafale fighter jets using the emergency powers. The highly agile and maneuverable munition extended range comprises of a guidance kit and a range extension kit installed on a normal MK-82 bomb weighing 250 kilograms and costs roughly 70 lakh rupees. There are also other procurements which include armor piercing, fin stabilized discarding sabo, ammunition fired by the T-72 and T-90 main battle tanks, additional Heron drones, loitering munition, spice bombs and man portable air defense system. Extending emergency powers to armed forces for both revenue and capital procurement indicates the government's intent to improve fighting and engaging capabilities to the next level and also ensuring their long-term viability.